okay a very good morning to all of you today we have come with mcs 015 that is your uh, english paper of your second semester so that we will be discussing and uh, before starting let me just share you share with uh, share with you people that uh, this is swarup sir's idea that we will be covering the previous year questions for every paper and then it would be easy for you be people to go through a particular video it might take one or two videos and the entire syllabus would be covered right so let us just get started with mcs 015 right but before starting there are a few things that i want you people to i want to share with you people that is hum log english ko we take it very lightly we always think that mcs 015 hai ya koi bhi aapka english ka paper hai now this is in your second semester we always think that we talk in english we can speak in english aisa to koi problem nahi hai mind it that writing skills are very different communication skills are very different so you must give importance to the type of questions you you are being asked and you should improve upon the quality of writing right so let us just get started this is the first type now i would be saying this is type 1 the first type of question that is being asked in your examination is that in response to an advertisement in hindustan times for the position of finance controller you are supposed to write an application for the same and also attach your curriculum vitae so here like aruna shinde this is the address and date here is the sender's address right with date and here to whom you are writing that means receiver's address to the managing director cosmos limited 72e industrial area andheri east mumbai right then the subject application for the position of finance controller reference advertisement in the hindustan times now always make sure that you give the reference always give the reference then dear sir with reference to your advertisement in the hindustan times for the post of finance controller dated this i wish to apply for the same then you should give your qualities you should talk about your qualities why you should be selected why you why you right so i am very energetic person with excellent communication skills i am proficient with computers and i am ready to face any target set by your esteemed company i am willing to work hard and would also like to add knowledge with experience my knowledge would also be added with the experience then because it is mentioned that aap ek finance controller ki position pe laga rahe hain so it makes sense that you will be showing your degree in mcom or anything that you have done in commerce so i hold mcom degree from nagpur university i have also completed my computer diploma computer is always important in any case so must give that degree also it is going to add your value then i have 2 years of experience as finance controller in login private limited nagpur my resume is sent with this letter for your reference and i shall be much thankful to you if you grant me an interview call at your convenient time i am looking forward to join your esteemed company as early as possible thanking you here again yours truly aruna shinde and in enclosure the resume and photocopies of educational certificates are being mentioned right make sure whenever you are writing any letter or whenever we are dealing with any topic hum koi bhi subject aage karenge mind it that you should be precise be precise and be to the point right next type of question what preparations should be made by a candidate before appearing for an interview interview se pehle ek candidate ko what you what do you suggest kya usko preparations karne chahiye so the first thing is that he should research the company and the position description by their company website ceo resources linkedin and networking with the contacts and employees glassdoor and vault are the great sources which access through ceo's websites is going to provide you the full access aapko pura access isse mil jata hai so you should be knowing few sources also that is going to help you to reach about that particular company point number 2 be prepared to give specific examples from your experience from your education or skills that are relevant to the job and 
organization use the position description as a guide so always be very specific give very specific examples example dena koi bhi paper ho koi bhi interview kisi bhi exam mein aap jaye is always appreciated and it is always preferred then third point that you should prepare four to five relevant questions for the interviewer that focus on the company's mission and the goals right then next point you can practice practice and practice visit the ceo for a mock interview you can always go for the mock interviews and more information on preparing for an interview then you can create a portfolio with the samples of your work reference letters awards and other materials which are going to demonstrate your abilities ek portfolio aapke paas hamesha ready hona chahiye aap kya kaam kar chuke hain aapke kuch references hain then aapko kuch awards mile hain aur bhi kuch facility kuch uh, materials which is going to demonstrate your abilities six point get travel and parking information and an esteem time commitment so that there are no surprises on the interview day aap interview day par ekdam timely pahunchiye उस कंपनी के बारे में रिसर्च करिए अपनी इंफॉर्मेशन अपनी नॉलेज दिखाने के लिए एक पोर्टफोलियो रेडी रखिए मॉक इंटरव्यूज दीजिए रेलेवेंट क्वेश्चंस आपको इंटरव्यूअर को पूछने के लिए भी आने चाहिए और अपने बारे में आप एग्जांपल्स के साथ बात करिए ऑलवेज गिव एग्जांपल्स राइट देन वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ राइटिंग द मिनट्स ऑफ अ मीटिंग जब भी आप एक मीटिंग रखते हैं तो मीटिंग का एक मिनट्स होता है सो वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ राइटिंग द मिनट्स ऑफ अ मीटिंग देन डिस्कस द एबिलिटीज एंड स्किल्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर राइटिंग द मिनट्स गिव एग्जाम्पल्स वे आर नेसेसरी सो सी मीटिंग मिनट्स वट आर दे दे आर द नोट्स टेकन ऑफ कॉन्वर्सेशन एंड चॉइसेज विच आर मेड ड्यूरिंग गैदरिंग मीटिंग मीन्स यू आर मीटिंग यू आर गैदरिंग नो ड्यूरिंग दैट गैदरिंग देर आर सर्टन कॉन्वर्सेशन सो इन दैट देर आर सर्टन नोट्स दैट वी नोट डाउन दैट नोट्स आर नथिंग बट दैट नोट्स आर नोन एज मिनिट्स ओके सो meeting minutes are the notes which are taken of conversations and choices made during gatherings in casual environments meeting notes are taken to give a record of the conversation for future reference future reference ke liye hum hamesha ek notes bana rakhte hain meeting ke aur usko hum log minutes bolte hain for instance in more proper settings for executive gatherings meetings are written and they are kept on record as an authoritative archives then minutes are also known as minutes of meetings it is for mom ise aise bhi bola jata hai mom minutes of meetings conventions or the casual notes are the moments put down to account for a gathering or hearing they usually portray the occasions of the gathering then they may incorporate a rundown of the participants ye bhi batata hai kon kon meeting mein participate kiya hai then an assertion of the issues which are considered by the members or unke related reactions ya choices the perfect individual should accept the notes because the note taker should have the option to rapidly figure out the data is appropriate and what could be forgotten about right then how to write the minutes of the meeting before you begin writing minutes it is vital to understand or comprehend the kind of data you want to record at the gathering as noted before your association might have the required content and a particular mother design that is going to follow these things see you should be having the date and season of the gathering names of the gathering members and who are not fit to join in then acknowledgement or adjustments any alterations of the past gatherings and choices that are being made about every planned thing right so is tarike se aap meetings likh sakte hain for example ek kuch hum organize kar rahe hain uski meeting to uska date hona chahiye who all were present who all were not present what all issues were acknowledged and how we are going to uh, execute those things right then next type of question jo aapka examination mein puchta hai do as directed she told that she wanted to become a teacher you have to rewrite it correctly aapko theek se likhna hai to she told that nahi hoga hoga she said that she wanted to become a teacher next you need not or you must not drive in the middle of the road so the right answer is you must not drive in the middle of the road then could you lend me your pen for a while ravi said rajni you have to write it in indirect speech so rajni requested ravi that could he lend her his pen for a while then 
I am having five dogs in my house. You have to rewrite it correctly. So I have five dogs in my house. Then he wrote two novels in one month. You have to rewrite in passive voice. So two novels have been written, have been written in one month by him. Then one of my brothers dash a doctor. So you have to fill it with a suitable word. So one of my brothers is a doctor. He reached the airport. The flight had already left. You have to combine the two sentences. So the flight had already left when he reached the airport, right? She is married. Supply a suitable tag. Is she married? Then he is so weak that he can't run fast. Rewrite it using to. So he is too weak to run fast. Then all the clothes were washed and ironed by my mother. You have to rewrite in active voice. So my mother has washed and ironed all the clothes. Okay. So active voice mein class hum log kya kar rahe hain? Jaise mother peechhe de rakha hai my mother. So that would be bring to the front. And then ye jo subject hai wo aapka ban jata hai object. Like in every sentence let me just tell you here. In every sentence there is a subject and there is an object. Right. And there are certain verbs. Verbs are secondary. But when subject is being made as an object, is ko hum log kya bolte hain? That it is being converted to the passive voice. And when object is being uh, brought in front, then it is your active voice. So ye aapko malum hona chahiye. And this is the way we can do. So active voice, passive voice, aapke syllabus mein hain. Then there would be that you have to rewrite it using the modals. Jaise aapne yaha par ek modal use kiya that you were asked to uh, combine two sentences over here. So what is when? When is a modal. Right. So modals would be there, active passive voice and then fill in the blanks with suitable verbs would be there. Right. Then next question. You have taken a housing loan from a nationalized bank and when you have been paying the interest at the rate prevailing at the time of borrowing, post demonetization you have to write a letter to the bank manager to reduce the interest rate on your balance amount in view of the announcement made in the union budget. Right. Again, Aruna Shinde, this is my address, sender's address. This is the receiver's address. What is the subject? Request for reduction of the interest rate for the home loan taken. So respected sir, this uh, letter is to request a reduction in the interest ro uh, rate of the home loan that I have taken from your PNB Bank, Paschim Vihar, Delhi. I request you to reduce my current interest of 12% to a more reasonable rate of 8% post demonetization. It has come to my attention that my interest rate has jumped from 6% to 12% in the period of 18 months. And I have visited the uh, websites of various competitors and I have noticed that they are offering an interest rate at much lower than what you are currently receiving right so i have been a solid and long standing customer with your company for a 50 for 15 years for past 15 years i have been with you and i would appreciate your consideration of a lower rate on my account right then i feel what do i feel i feel the increased rate is unfair so increase interest rate hai wo bahut unfair hai that is what i feel and considering my long standing history, you will uh, find that I am not, I maintain not only a good credit history, but I also have an excellent history of payment with your company. So I would appreciate a lowered rate of interest at this time, and I would like to remain a loyal customer with your company. Aapki company ke saath main jude rehna chata hu. Please reduce my uh, interest rate so that, and also you are going to tell that. Uh, that you have been very loyal, you have been doing the things very properly. So, yes, sir, you can say that you can say And then later on, it would be good for you uh, uh, in expressing yourself. And it would also be good for the company also to understand that, yes, you have been faithful, you have been good, right? So, this is the way you can write a proper. Uh, you can say, uh, th what is this? This is again uh, a letter. So how you are going to write a letter? How you are going to write an application? This, these are the things you have to keep in mind. 
ऑलवेज बी टू द पॉइंट आपको सब्जेक्ट में दे दिया जाएगा रिडक्शन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रेट तो आपने तो ये तो लिख दिया कि रिड्यूस कर दिया जाए पोस्ट मॉनिटाइजेशन आपका पहले रेट कुछ और था अभी आपने कुछ और चेंज कर दिया लेकिन आपने यहां पर एक पॉइंट एड किया हेयर आई हैव एडेड वन पॉइंट दैट इज दैट यू हैव बीन लॉयल थ्रू आउट ठीक है सो दीज पॉइंट यू कैन एड एंड यू कैन इंप्रोवाइज योर राइटिंग राइट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन As the secretary of a students union, now you have to write the minutes of a meeting of the office wearers held in the connection with the annual function to be organized shortly. So annual function organized होने वाला है उसके लिए एक हमने minutes बनाए हैं एक meeting हुआ है उसके minutes उस minutes में क्या discussion हुआ है वो आपसे पूछा जा रहा है तो अभी मैंने आपको बताया था how to write minutes. So likewise you can give date. This is the date. This was the timing and location in the conference room. then second point who attended the meeting so mr sham uh, mr jayantha mrs lakshmi were there in the meeting but mr mohan mr joni were not there in the meeting then what was the meeting agenda how to make annual function a success annual function ko successful kaise karna hai this was what you have discussed in the meeting and and the things that were discussed were about the geographical area where it is to be organized that is in the playground varied stalls are welcome and namely a few like games quizzes dance competition and an olympiad is to be organized ye sab baatein humne apne meeting ke dauran mein discuss kiya hai then details about what was discussed during the meeting to ye aapne mention kar diya and the time when the meeting was adjourned let's just say ki aapka time jo hai itne baje aapne 22 hours mein meeting start kiya hai and uh, 20 hours mein and 22 hours mein aapne meeting ko over kar diya that means it is for 2 hours it went for 2 hours right so this is how you are going to tell about the minutes of a meeting ye bhi aapka question aaya hua hai previous year mein then as a sales executive of a publishing house you have to now write a conversation with a client who wants to place a bulk order of textbooks for a chain of schools right again the sender's address then here is the receiver's address greetings our school is pleased to purchase books from you and we are willing to order more this time we will be needing science books and journals so that our students can make use of it books ordered readers digest 100 numbers every week the science guide 300 numbers anatomy and physiology 300 numbers ancient scientific practices 300 numbers science today 300 numbers every week then a life of science 200 numbers so these are the varied books that are being required so this is the conversation right we will be needing the books by the end of this week and i hope you have the books which we require as we are your regular clients i would request you to provide the current order status as we are in the need of the books as soon as possible we are in the need of the books and we want the current status also then yours truly aruna shinde right then the next question that is you have to read the following passage and then you have to answer the questions given below theek hai to yahan par aapko ek question diya gaya hai aur usko aapne yahan par discuss karna hai aur us tarike ke aapke questions aaye hue hain right so let me just go through the uh, the passage if your desk is piled high with letters faxes memos printouts you might believe all this paperwork is a sign of how busy you are But according to Declan Tracy, cluttered desks, यानी वो डेस्क जो भरे रहते हैं it lead to lost information, information खो जाती है distraction and missed opportunities, high stress and not a little procrastination. He founded and runs the Clear Your Desk Day organization. His arguments for uncluttered desks are strong. we pile hundreds of pieces of paper on the desks with 45 minutes a day wasted on frustrating searches for lost paper work on and around the desk it is unfortunate that the cluttered desk is an accepted norm in most organizations he says bahut organizations mein agar aapka desk cluttered hai bhara hua hai to bola jata hai ki aap kaam karte hain otherwise aap kaam nahi karte but paper has become the foundation on which our organizations are built 
while a large proportion of this paperwork is important most organizations more uh, both public and private are suffocating under mountains of unwanted paper aisa bhi hota hai unwanted paper pada rehta hai kachra pada rehta hai right each piece of paper on the desk distracts us up to 5 times a day isse hame distraction hota hai we habitually handle paperwork several times before deciding what to do with it so what should they do if they have proper mountains on their desk dump it in the bin usko phek diya jaye well yes says tracy or rather he suggests following four simple rules and dumping the stuff is number 4 so rule number 3 is aap file kar lijiye file it no number 2 suggests that passing it to someone else kisi aur ko de de number 1 is the rule that no one will like it you should act on it right so what should uh, what you should not do is add to the pile of papers that's already there right so 80% of the paperwork is eventually discarded but it causes an awful lot of trouble before that happens so unfortunately unfortunately most of the executives believe the myth that an empty desk is the sign of unproductive mind so how wrong can you be companies cannot afford to let people work from cluttered work desks hours of valuable time are wasted in searching for vital pieces of paper i also do agree ki aapka bahut kaam jo hai wo papers itne zyada clutter hone se kya hota hai ki time lagta hai hours of valuable time are wasted right and it in being distracted by the constant stream of faxes memos reports which land in our in trays when should we be devoting time to more important work now what is the question suggest a suitable title for the passage to passage ka jo title hoga maine jo diya hai that is change in work culture aap bhi apna isme is yahan par answers mein vary you might think differently i might think differently to uske hisab se aap comment section mein iske answers vary kar kar bhi mujhse share kar sakte hain then according to the writer what is the ill effects of having the cluttered desk cluttered desk hone se kya ill effects hote hain so according to declan tracy cluttered desk lead to lost information distraction missed opportunities high stress and not a little procrastination he founded and runs the clear your desk day organization then find the words in the passage which mean to take away attention and to throw away to so take away attention is distraction and throw away is dumping then what are the arguments given in the favor of an uncluttered desk uncluttered desk ke favor mein kya bola gaya hai so see we pile hundreds of pieces of paper on the desks with uh, 45 minutes a day wasted on frustrating searches for lost paperwork on and around the desk and it is unfortunate that the clutter desk is the accepted norm in most organizations he says paper has become the foundation on which our organizations are built while a large proportion of this paperwork is important most organizations both public and private are suffocating under mountains of unwanted paper then enumerate the four rules of keeping one's desk clean apna desk saaf rakhne ke liye four rules so you know dumping the stuff is rule number 4 rule number 3 is file it rule number 2 is passing it to someone else and rule number 1 is no one will like it that is you should act on it so what you should not do is pile up the work right तो इस तरीके से आपको कॉम्प्रीहेंशन आएगा उसमें ये चार पांच सवाल यही है श्योर इसी तरीके के क्वेश्चंस आते हैं सो फर्स्ट गो वेरी टेक योर टाइम एंड गो थ्रू द कॉम्प्रीहेंशन रिलैक्स होने के बाद बी वेरी रिलैक्स एंड गो थ्रू द कॉम्प्रीहेंशन एंड देन सर्च फॉर द राइट ऑप्शन आई एम श्योर हंड्रेड परसेंट यू वुड बी राइट सो बी वेरी रिलैक्स वाइल डूइंग दीज टाइप्स ऑफ कॉम्प्रीहेंशन क्वेश्चन राइट देन द लास्ट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन is that you again you have to fill up with the most suitable phrasal verbs from those which are given below like here it is given look into look up shut up run across fall behind and drop in so you have to fill up here so they dash to him as their leader so they look up to him wo uski taraf dekhe wo log dekhe uski taraf as their leader don't dash with your rent or you will be evicted 
डोंट ड्रॉप इन कभी भी अपना रेंट जो है टाइमली दे दिया करिए इफ यू विल ड्रॉप इन इफ यू विल ड्रॉप दैट आइडिया देन यू विल बी एविक्टेड यू विल बी रिमूव यू विल बी आस टू लीव द रूम देन येस्टरडे आई फॉल बिहाइंड माई चाइल्डहुड फ्रेंड तो फॉल बिहाइंड आई वॉज प्लेइंग विद हिम एंड आई फॉल बिहाइंड माई चाइल्डहुड फ्रेंड फाइव फॉल बिहाइंड का ये मतलब नहीं है कि मैं उसके पीछे गिर गया ऐसा नहीं है आई वॉज देयर विद हिम देन द जज प्रोमिस्ड to look into the matter wo matter ke andar dekhenge he will go through it he will be thorough with it that is look into it is rude to ask people to shut up right so is tarike se aapko question bola jata hai then imagine you are working as personal manager in human resource department of it solutions a system of flexible working hours has been proposed then here you are supposed to write a memo to the staff ठीक है और मेमो में आपने क्या देना है इन्फॉर्मिंग देम अबाउट द प्रपोज फ्लेक्सी टाइमिंग्स स्टेटिंग क्लियरली दैट ओनली वेडनेसडेज एंड थर्सडेज वुड बी फ्लेक्सी टाइमिंग्स इन द इनिशियल स्टेज देन टेलिंग देम दैट देयर वुड बी अ कोर टाइमिंग बिटवीन 1 पी टू 3 पी एम व्हेन ऑल द मेंबर्स ऑफ द स्टाफ आर सपोज टू बी इन द टाइम सो किस तरीके से आप मेमो लिखते हैं ये भी आप देख लीजिए यू हैव टू गिव दिस टॉपिक मेमोरेंडम देन हेयर द डेट to whom you are writing to the staff all employees from whom from aruna shinde subject flexible working hours so we are writing to inform about the flexible timings that on wednesday and thursday would be flexi timings in the initial stage that is in the morning but between 1 pm and 3 pm all members of the staff are supposed to be in the office anyone with any queries may mail at aruna shinde 123@gmail.com by 8 pm today itself so very brief but kya kya details aapko likhni hai wo aapko dhyan rakhna hai mind it jab aap ek memorandum likhte hain zaruri nahi hai ki jaise ki initial aapko stories de rakha hai wo diya jayega but what is your memo about that would be mentioned and then you have to cook up the stories and you have to prepare the things right then again as a marketing or the sales executive of an automobile company you have been asked to investigate aapko investigate karna hai the reason why there has been a drastic fall in the sale of cars car ki sale mein fall ho gaya hai to uske liye aapko kya likhna hai report likhna hai in about 250 words to kaise aap likhenge Sinclair had become one of the UK's best millionaires and he has earned a knighthood on the back of highly successful Sinclair research range of home computers in the early 1980s. He hoped to repeat his success in the electric vehicle market. Usne socha tha abhi tak wo bahut acha millionaire ban gaya tha he will be repeating the things but which he saw as a ripe for the new approach the C5 emerged from an early project to produce small electric car called the C1 but after the change of the law prompted by lobbying from bicycle manufacturers synclave developed the C5 as an electronically powered tricycle with a polypropylene body and chassis designed by Lotus Cars it was intended to be the first in the series of increasingly ambitious electric vehicles but in the event of the planned development abhi tak aapne kya batana hai apne bare mein approach batani hai ki we were planning and we were going with a very nice things but there is a but but in the event of the planned development of the follow up c10 and c15 electric cars never got further with the drawing board why so ab aap uske bare mein baat karenge on 10th january 1985 c5 was unveiled at the glitchy launch event but it received a less than enthusiastic reception from the british media its sales prospects were blighted by poor reviews and safety concerns expressed by consumers and motoring organizations the vehicle's limitation kya limitations thi a short range maximum speed of 15 miles per hour that is 12 kilometers per hour battery that ran down quickly battery bhi kharab and a lack of weather proofing made it impractical for the most people's needs it was marketed as an alternative to cars and bicycles but it ended up appealing to neither group of owners and it was not available in shops until several months after it launch within 3 months of its launch production has been slashed by 90% sales never picked up despite sinclair's optimistic forecasts and production ceased entirely by puri khatam ho gayi 
productions by August 1985. Out of 14,000 C5s made, only 5,000 were sold before its manufacturer, Sinclair Vehicles, went into receivership. The C5 became an as one of the great marketing bombs of the post-war British industry and a notorious example of failure. Despite its commercial failure, the C5 went on to become a cult item for uh, collectors. Thousands of unsold C5s were purchased by investors and they were sold for a hugely inflated price such as Euro 5000 compared to the original retail value of 399 euros. Enthusiasts have established owners, clubs, and they have some modified their vehicles substantially. Then they have added monster vehicles, net, uh, jet engines, and powered electric motors to propel C5 speed to 150 miles per hour, that is 240 kilometers per hour. So how to write a report? First, you were tell about your approach. Approach was very good. Then what were the problems? And then you have been working on it and you are improving it. So in three paragraphs, you can end up your entire report then the last question for the day fill in the blanks with the following sentences by choosing the suitable phrasal verbs play down run down put out turn down drop in drop out so sheila tried to play down her son's faults matlab kam karne lagi apne bacche ki galtiyan so she tried to play down se bolte hai play down aryan wanted to marry sanya aryan wanted to marry sanya but she drop out the proposal that means she cancel the proposal anil has put out of cricket 11 that means he has prepared usne kya kiya hai put out matlab usne 11 ki team bana li hai of the cricket some of my old friends drop in for a cup of tea that means they came for a cup of tea tea then one should always turn down the lights before going out of the room right तो ये कुछ आपको फ्रेजल वर्ब्स पता होने चाहिए लाइक like प्ले के साथ डाउन लगा है तो उसका क्या मीनिंग है प्ले इन पुट डाउन पुट आउट टर्न डाउन ड्रॉप इन दिस इज जस्ट एन इंस्टेंस ये एग्जांपल है इस तरीके से आप लोग फर्दर गो थ्रू भी कर सकते हैं एंड इन केस इफ यू आर हैविंग डाउट्स यू कैन आस्क मी इन कॉमेंट्स ऑल्सो राइट सो आई थिंक विद दिस आई हैव गिवन द इंटायर जस्ट ऑफ एम क्या क्या आपके पेपर में आता है वन देयर कुड बी एन एप्लीकेशन then there would be a letter then there are fill ups then there would be a report then there is a memo and then there is a comprehension then a memo comprehension all of these things i think i have covered over here i think i might not miss something memo report conversation meetings yeah how to write a meeting now that is important meetings okay so how to give the meetings so with this you can say that your entire ncs 015 would be covered in this one particular video so thank you in case if you are having any doubts do let me know do comment and if you are uh, having uh, any queries like if you want some more details in the subject you can ask me right so all the best keep watching keep liking and share the lectures to as many as you can let everyone understand and let everyone study well so all the best we will be coming up with a new topic very soon stay stay tuned thank you